This tutorial is going to cover the instant distress and the white underbase. Your design, as far as the color, text, and overall look, needs to be finished by the time you use these features of the Action Pro Studio. So I have my design ready to go on my page. I'm going to use the Instant Distress button. Click on it and it brings up the different distress options. It's going to default on the regular vector distress images. You will need to use these if you're going to be screen printing. If you're going to be doing sublimation or direct-to-garment printing, you can use the raster distress files. These are smaller files and easier to work with sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the vector distress ones. Let's see. You just select a distress overlay, and it's going to automatically add it to our design to give it a vintage feel. If I'm going to be screen printing this design on a white shirt, I'm ready to go. This will be a three-color print. However, if you're going to be screen printing this on a design onto a dark shirt, like uh, the dark brown in the design, we want to have a white underbase. If we don't have a distress on top of this design, and I'm just going to remove this distress overlay by clicking on it and hitting the delete button on my keyboard, then I just click on the white underbase icon right here. I'm going to go ahead and select the color of the shirt, which let's imagine this design is going to go on a dark brown shirt hit OK. So what this does is it's going to make an underbase on a page 2. Notice the underbase here does not include where the dark brown hits. So this is dark brown here and my wonder, I, white underbase does not include that. That's because that's going to be the color of the shirt coming through. I'm going to go ahead and discard this underbase just by right clicking down here on my page 2 tab and clicking delete. Let's go ahead and put that distress back on my design. Click on instant distress, choose a vector distress, hit OK. So if I want to print this on a dark brown shirt and I need a white underbase, I'm going to click on my underbase tool, assign the dark brown as my shirt color and hit OK. So it made my white underbase, but it read the white object of the distress as a white object that needs to be printed. So in order to undo that, I'm just going to go ahead and select on my distress here and go ahead and click on a white to make it white. It doesn't need to be a Pantone white because we're actually not going to be printing a separation of the distress at all. So now my page two here is where I'm going to print my white underbase. And then my page one is going to be where I print my cream color, my tan color, and a second wipe separation if I choose to do that. So this is how the distress and underlay work inside of the Action Pro Studio. Last thing I want to show you though is where to print your separations inside of Corel Draw if you don't already know where to do that. As long as you are using Pantone colors, Corel Draw will automatically separate the colors for screen printing. Just go to File print. You're going to see here that my design has two pages. Page two here, I'm just going to print this for my white underbase. My page one though, we're going to need to separate into different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to page one and then go under color. Here, I'm going to select to print separations. I now have a separations tab. Here, I can see the colors I have in my design. So I'm going to deselect the dark brown because it's the color of the shirt. And if I don't want to print a second white separation, deselect that one as well. So now if I hit print preview, you'll see that Corel Draw has separated the tan and cream colors. And so this is ready for printing.